I have failed you. Prosit. I was to be your shepherd. And you have strayed too far from the path. All of these bold accusations, all of these grand inquisitions. If you think you know better than I what is good for the Jedi, what is good for the galaxy, then come. Test your resolve against mine. Let us find out who is right. Mace Windu, to Prosit Dibs the Jedi's mission on Hisrich was interrupted by a fallout that occurred between two of its members. Dibs confronted Windu soon after returning to the West Wind with Fisto. His doubts about their military role and the loss of multiple natives led him to lose faith in the Order and the High Council. Shouting at his fellow Jedi Master, Dibs made several accusations against both Windu and the Council, ranging from callousness towards collateral damage to distorting the Jedi doctrine. He then physically assaulted Windu, causing the High Council member to chastise Dibs for attacking his general. Although Windu sympathized with Dibs' frustrations, he refused to entertain his claims, dismissing all of them as bold accusations and grand inquisitions. Dibs took this as mockery and ignited his lightsaber, intending to take Windu's life. Realizing that Dibs would not back down, Windu declared that he had failed in his responsibility to keep Dibs on the Jedi path. He then accepted Dibs' challenge by igniting his own lightsaber. Yet even as they fought, Windu beseeched Dibs to cease his attack by reminding him that they were essentially brothers in the sense that they were both chosen to walk the path of the Jedi. Despite Dibs' resolve to kill Windu, he was ultimately disarmed and bested by the Jedi champion. The ordeal served to remind Windu of his mission on Mathas years prior to the Clone Wars, in which he was tempted to take the life of the false prophet Druze. Recalling his past experience with deciding another person's fate, Windu decided to arrest Dibs and to leave his punishment to the will of the High Council. After securing Dibs on the West Wind, the remaining Jedi proceeded to bring their mission to an end by attacking the ADW-4's headquarters. Although his own faith was tested during the duel, Dibs' accusations ultimately strengthened Windu's resolve and his belief that the Jedi Order existed to protect people from the malevolence of the dark side.